Flicko. Um, I was thinking about this today. Do you know how many artists that I listen to, that you guys listen to, that we all love? And I'm talking about artists from now, artists from today. There's so many acts today that I love, that you love, but I wonder. I wonder about certain people. I wonder, can you just be an act who the music speaks 100% for you and you don't do anything as far as a lot of interviews, a lot of content, a lot of... You know what I mean? Talking, even at your shows, a lot of charisma. I know that there are artists that we all love who are very quiet, who don't say too much, who just let the music speak. For sure there are. But I wonder, in today's day and age, if you're an act who has unbelievable music and you don't have that charisma that some of our favorite acts have, when you go think about your favorite artists, when you think about the Princes and you think about Hendrix and you think about the Beatles or you think about even Frank Ocean or Tyler or The Weeknd or whoever you guys love, so many of all of our favorite artists, the most legendary artists, they have a certain kind of charisma or even this very interesting way of looking at the world or this personality to them. And sometimes now you, I meet bands or I, I find out about acts or groups or whatever where they're so amazing, their music's amazing, they look cool, um, everything they're putting out artistically, rollout-wise, marketing-wise is all so cool. But when you meet them or when they do interviews or when they talk to their fans or when they talk to people... It's all just like very shy, very quiet. Um, I'm not saying everybody has to be a loud mouth and everybody has to be funny and everybody has to be the most charismatic person. But I do think a lot of every, all of our favorite legendary artists, God tier artists, time, timeless artists, they have an opinion. They have certain things that are interesting for their viewpoint, even if they are quiet or shy about it. And I think, I wonder now with acts, you meet acts, you meet people sometimes and they don't have much to say and they don't have many opinions on things and they really have just been focusing on their music and they might know everything about all these different acts, all these different genres, all these different types of music that I don't even know about at my age, at a way younger age. And that's why they're able to make this amazing shit. But if you don't have this interesting point of view or this interesting charisma or things that you're kind of talking about with your fans or way of interacting with your fans. Can the music just do it all the way by itself? Can it get you to that level? I know you can make money. I know you can, uh, I know you can do well, but I'm saying to get to that level, to get to the Tyler level, to get to the Kanye level, to get to the biggest artist in the world level. Don't you need to be able to have a viewpoint that's interesting? Don't you need to be able to have some kind of personality to you that people, people find interesting, even if you're really quiet and shy and mysterious, there needs to be, I'm asking you as a question. I'm not saying I have a point. I'm asking a question. I, well, the reason I was thinking about this is because people in here, I know people in here who don't make a lot of music or aren't really far in their music career, but they're unbelievable personalities. And they're so funny. And they're so like, they always get a rise out of people. And even when they talk about music, people love them. If that person works their the hardest to actually get good at music and actually work at the skills it takes to engineer and produce and write songs and play instruments, blah, blah, blah. I feel like there's so many people in here who have amazing personalities and amazing charisma and amazing viewpoints and amazing ways of thinking, even if you're not a loud mouth or a funny person. There's so many people in here who have unbelievable personalities, but they think, oh, I'm not good enough at music yet. I'm not good enough at my instrument. I'm not good enough at the skills that it takes to be in the industry. For the people in here who are like, can I make music or not? If you've got a good personality, I bet you you'll be an unbelievable musician. That's what I'm thinking. I bet you you'll be an unbelievable artist or producer if you've got an interesting way of thinking. If you have an interesting viewpoint, if you make your friends laugh, if you make your friends think, if your friends can count on you. People with good personalities, people with good charisma, people with uh, interesting thought process, even if they are, they are not charismatic people. Those people are great minds. Those people are great creatives, even if you're not necessarily doing music yet or doing art yet. I know some people who make really, really, really cool music, but then when you talk to them, they're just fucking boring. And I'm, I hate to say it. I'm not talking about a specific person right now. It's just some people you meet, their music's so interesting. And then you meet them, they don't really have a specific opinion on anything. Don't really have anything they're trying to say with the music, particularly. They just make really cool art. To me, there's an issue with that as a fan. As a fan, I need to be in love with the person and the music to stand. And unfortunately, whenever some of us fall out of love with the person and we just love the music, we've all experienced that a shit ton in cancel culture. Whenever 
You find out this artist that you f with, or for me, an artist I have a, a platinum plaque with or something, does something really f***ed up or says something really f***ed up. And no, I'm not just talking about the baby. It's happened to me in my career many times. And I think I got to be in love with the person and the music to be a real stan. Whenever I think someone's an interesting person and their art is interesting and they dress cool and da 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 da, that's when I love it. That's whenever I'm like, oh, this is my favorite artist. If someone like, I really don't like how they dress, I really don't like their interviews, but they make amazing music, I'll be like, yeah, I like their music. But, and sometimes maybe that's enough. Sometimes that maybe that's fine. But for me, I think there's a lot of people in here who are yet to make music or yet to do art or unbelievable personalities or really smart minds or just really creative people. And you have yet to do music yet because you're thinking, oh, I'm not good at music. Oh, I don't know how to do music. Oh, I'm not talented at instruments. You know what I mean? I think the talented instruments can come. You don't have to have perfect pitch to do well at music. Like, you don't have to do um, any type of music classes to end up being great at an instrument. You can do a lot of different things. And I think a lot of producers are really great people, the best ones that I meet. They're good people. They're people that people like to talk to. They're people that people get along with. They're people that they go into a room and they end up in a deep conversation with someone in 30 minutes. And that's not easy to do whenever you can't uh, relate to people. You can't get along in conversations. Um, someone said, how do you build your charisma? I'm not saying you have to be charismatic. I'm just saying you have to be yourself and you have to have an opinion. It's so much more interesting to have an opinion than to be quiet and be good at music. I'm sorry. Maybe your opinion's not for everybody. Maybe not everybody's going to like it. When Tyler wears his heart on his sleeve, some people think he's doing too much when he's being funny. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to just be yourself to be interesting, to be this artist or this person who makes music where people are going to care about your music there's got to be some context and it goes both ways sometimes when people learn more about you they might not rock with their music the same though all of twitter found out i was white and had a lot of questions about my beats after that previously to that before i was posting many pictures of myself not any questions about my beats <laughs> sometimes when you talk too much or you have an opinion on a certain thing people have an opinion on your now or you now or whatever it is i just think we have a lot of amazing personalities in here and you don't realize what your personality can do once you start doing music. Your personality is the X factor in your music career. And I think that gets overlooked. Your charisma, your personality, your way of thinking, even if you're not a very talkative person, even if you're a shy person, your X factor when it comes to making music is who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? What you think of differently.